Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Everybody is talking about a lot of good things about SAP, SAP Carrier. So that's why I thought I will take a different topic so that it is going to show you the reality of SAP Consulting Carrier. So that is why I have selected here uh, the topic as harsh reality of SAP Consulting Learning. So my first topic here is that is this market saturated? Yes, this market is already saturated but at bottom layer. So what is the meaning of this uh, it is saturated at bottom layer that means uh, let's say someone is thinking that I will go for this uh, SAP and I will pursue my career in SAP and uh, if you have completed any basic course when I'm saying basic course means you are thinking that uh, I will complete one training from some XYZ training institute and uh, then after that I will get a good consulting job. So it's not that easy or it is almost I will say that it is un, uh, it's impossible until unless you have a very good exposure or a very good command on this particular product which that means a lot of practical expertise required because already people raise the standard. I will talk about like when 10 years before 15 years before that was huge demand of SAP consultants so that time uh, market actually looking that consultants was like the number of consultants are required for different SAP projects that time people are not maybe it is not available or readily not available or whatever the demand was there that time maybe supply was not enough so that's why with a basic knowledge or with a just you have completed a training and after that maybe you can get a consulting job but nowadays as SAP already settled or a lot of SAP consultants are working, new people are coming to this IT industry and they are thinking we will go for SAP consulting. So in that case, if you think that you have just completed a one basic tra training somewhere and uh, uh, when I'm saying basic means that average level training. So and with that, if you are going to get a consulting job, then as per my experience, it is impossible. It is almost impossible. Then uh, what we should do here? So. Uh, basically what happened like what industry is looking from one particular candidate when they are going to hire the consultant so they are not looking that someone they will hire someone as a fresher and after that they will groom that particular candidate and after that they are going to deploy that candidate in a particular project what they are expecting they are expecting the finished product so that means immediately they will hire and they will deploy in the project because even companies or IT firms are having a lot of competition among themselves to get the project in a less cost. So that is why they can't afford that you will be there for four months, five months, six months, you will learn the things, practical things and after that they will deploy in the project. So they can't afford to give six months salary without getting any return. So that is why from their perspective they are looking that they want that immediately they are going to hire someone and uh, the consultant should be ready for deployment or the consultant is going to be there in the project immediately. As you know SAP is a problem solving job that means you are going for interview and interviewer is going to judge you. Uh, like how you are going to answer your queries or I mean how you are going to uh, answer your questions that in interview whatever it is raised so from there they are going to ju judge you that means how good you are in the logic how good you are in the concept right so what will be the uh, your approach uh, the problem solving approach because ultimately you will be there in project and you are going to work for some companies particularly when you are uh, targeting the IT companies, the IT career you are looking and IT companies, they, it's not product based. So they are not manufacturing anything. They are going to deploy in some client or you will be there in part of one project. So that time they are looking at what the value add you are going to do in the particular project or if you will be there in a client support or uh, like whatever your role. So what the value add you are, you are going to do in that particular job role. So that is why it is highly required that you should be uh, like almost you can say uh, like if expectation earlier it was 50% 60% now it is 90% so that level that level expertise is required when you are going for any interview or when you are going for any consulting job. Now coming to the next point is there any shortcut to become SAP consultant so I have seen so many people they are just coming with uh, some training uh, they have some knowledge and they are saying that we are not from this background or let's say someone uh, just uh, for example let's say they don't have any experience they don't have any domain experience even people are coming from a different background also to, to understand uh, this one I will give one example for example let's say you are targeting that SAP finance job SAP finance consulting job 
obviously sap finance is high demand job so always pay package will be good everything someone is from the mechanical engineering and that person is looking that i will go for i just completed the training and after that i will start with my consult sap finance consulting job as it is very demanding one so what i will do i don't have any domain i don't have any sap experience previously so i don't have any uh, previous relevant experience when i'm talking relevant experience means you should have a sap maybe super user maybe power user maybe core user something or maybe a sap analyst earlier and now you are going to start the consulting job or you will be there in the consulting job by adding some fake experience so for fake experience what they are they they have arranged some informations from different sources and they just added those informations in the resume without knowing anything about that particular project and they just added those information and after that they are thinking that we will get the uh, interview calls obviously you will get the interview calls because in the first scrutiny round when you have added so much content in your resume calls will be there 100% calls will be there but after the first round you will be rejected because when they are going to ask different technical questions from your resume and you never you are not there you, we are not there in any project really you never work on any scenarios but those things you are already added in your resume so it is going against you right it, instead of helping this one it, this particular uh, your arrangement it is going against you because in the first round itself it you will be rejected now some people they argue with me that uh, my uh, senior or my some my known they got the job with the same practice why can't i get, get all this believe me earlier even interviewer was they know these things when we are talking we are taking the interview we know that the candidate how much uh, practically equipped or how much candidate know the things practically but sometimes what happen like if there is a demand is there or we need a consultant immediately so with the, with knowing all these facts we used to hire that particular resource so same thing earlier when there was demand was high and uh, less number of uh, like resources are available so that time with the, knowingly that the, this is having the fake experience but if the candidate is good then we used to hire that person but now the scene changed now here like lot of resources are available in the market lot of people are going for sap consulting career they are already having good knowledge in that case if you will go with this type of arrangement adding some fake experience you never spent time on machine you never explored anything you never configured any business process and you just uh, uh, have some uh, fake experience and you you are thinking that you are going to be be part of any project and you will successfully start your consulting career, consulting career in sap or in any it industry it is impossible so it it may not work maybe it was earlier working but now it is not going to work so this is my point number 2 now coming to point number 3 what about the courses so here a lot of people they are suggesting different things that do i need to learn it from youtube because nowadays so many things are available in youtube even i'm in my channel also continuously i'm adding contents or do I need to join some training institute or I should join from a uh, consultant who is already working on different projects. So which one is the right option or which one I should opt here because different people they are suggesting different things. So which one is correct? I would say that all options are correct. Everything is correct but uh, everything is not correct for everyone or everything is not suitable for everyone. Okay, so let's take the first example. Do I need to learn it from the YouTube? I would say that if you are at very early stage now you are just exploring the things right whether you don't know whether you will go for sap or not because once you have uh, uh, completed your finance post graduation professional uh, qualification you have you work already some years in industry now you are thinking that i should go for this sap or i should explore this sap platform or this sap career but till now you have not decided anything whether you will go for this one at this moment instead of joining any training institute because when you are going to join some training institute it is your monetary commitment your time commitment everything is there so instead of going for immediately jump into any training institute you spend some time in youtube you first learn the things you first understand what is this particular product whether i'm going to fit into this one whether you have any inclination towards this it career or not or you want to be uh, later uh, are you comfortable with this relocation job or not so if you are not fascinated about all these things uh, like it then maybe this particular career is not for you let's say uh, you are very interested for some different options everything is good sap is not the only option for you everything is good provided that you should fit into that particular career so that time you explore lot of things uh, from youtube 
or you can say that you gather information from the YouTube, you explore the things initially. So that time YouTube is a good option. Another option YouTube can be helpful. For example, let's say you are working already in SAP platform in different projects since last 15, 20 years. Because in SAP, it's an IT product, lot of changes SAP is also releasing and we are the consultant when we are working on project. So those changes also keep, we keep updating in our community. So if there is some small changes are there, for that obviously we will not go for a training, right? So in, for instead of training, you can just get the update from there, you can try from uh, your end in your sandbox, that is going to help you. So in that case also YouTube may be helpful for you. So in very early stage when you are going to check the things or maybe you are looking for only the updates then YouTube is going to help you. But when you are seriously looking for any um, on this SAP career and you want to go for a proper training. So in that case, I will suggest join any training institute, some decent training institute in your area, online, offline, whatever the way you are comfortable, you join there because benefit is when you are going to join any training institute, in training institute, the training content prepared by the trainer is in an organized way it is there. So when you are going to join there, so all these uh, topics or business process, whatever you are going to learn from them, in a systematic way you are going to learn from them. Right, and second thing, if, when there will be issue will be there, so trainer is going to, your mentor is going to help you in that case. So you will get a, like very, like you can say that realistic approach you are going to get from the training. Because in YouTube, different type of contents are available from the different content creators. So today, let's say you, uh, you have seen one video from my end, another video from different content creators. So there will be no connectivity. But when you are joining a training institute, where there is a properly designed a course is available, and you are going to be there for two to three months. So in a perfectly or systematic way, you are going to learn the things, you are going to uh, experience those practical things, you will do a lot of activities there, or you will, uh, com uh, you will complete some projects there. So it is going to give you the confidence before your interview. So this is the best I mean, option. First, you explore the things from YouTube. Then after that, you uh, join some trading institute. Again, it's your wish. You may join SAP partners or SAP uh, non-partners. Again, as per your budget and your convenience, but all are good. Definitely partners are 100% good as it is SAP authorized. Unauthorized training institutes are also good provided that you have uh, you did all the thorough checks at your end. So join there and uh, it, it is going to help you. Third option, do I need to join some real-time consultant? Real-time consultant, initially when you are going to join any training institute, so that time your target is I will go into any SAP job. Maybe that time you don't know what is the, uh, like, uh, what will be the, my, it is consulting job or like lot of people they are learning because they are not happy with their current job and they want to switch the job. So that time they are not clear whether it is a consulting job or user job or it's analyst job because when you will join some training institute, all the training institute, they have an average content is there. And that content, I'm not saying it's bad, that content is designed, it is going to suitable mass. Okay, for example, let's say, uh, someone is just completed the graduation and joined that training for a job in the MNC. Maybe that course content, content is absolutely fine for that person because that person's target is to join some MNC as a maybe business user or business analyst, anything. So, but let's say someone is already working as a con uh, end user or super user since last two to three years. Now that person's target is to go a better career or to go for a better option. So maybe that person right now I'm looking that I should go for a SAP consulting career or someone is already working as a junior consultant or associate consultant. That person is looking I will get a better package or better project. So that time the third option will come. So you need to join some working consultant or any firm where you are going to learn a lot of practical things directly from the project. But particularly when you are looking that I will go for SAP consulting career or I want to join as a SAP consultant because I have already my domain experience is there three to, three to four years. I already spent on the user side of the SAP. I already spent, uh, spent there two to three years. Now I am fully ready and I have good decent knowledge from the front end part of the SAP. I want to learn the back end things. I want to do different uh, business scenarios. I want to configure it. I want to test it. I want to work on the different 
different issues i want to handle different ticket that time you should join as a um, somewhere with any any agency or with sap consultant actually what happened 90% cases where people are taking the wrong decision because of training in should miss selling because that time they know that this particular person having good experience so you should not, that person should not be there in the average training but because of uh, uh, target and all other things are there so that is why maybe they are not guiding them properly so that is why if anyone is watching this video if if you ever spoke with me initially i spent 2 to 3 minutes 5 minutes to understand your job requirement or what is your current position right what is your job profile and what is your ambition what do you want to then only i used to guide someone the right course or someone is a, or anyone who already joined my uh, live training you must have experienced that the previous training definitely help you in this current training because my training is 100% practically oriented so that's why it's absolutely fine if you have earlier not work any project no need to worry uh, that i have not completed project but yeah if you if you have not completed the project and you are going for a consulting job just adding 2 to 3 years fake experience then that is the that is not the right way or that is not the right approach so all these training options are absolutely fine you should uh, go in this particular hierarchy as per my experience uh, this are there jobs are available in sap consulting yes absolutely available there are multiple jobs are there but as i said uh, the right job i always used to say that uh, jobs are there for the right candidate so for that i already explained so many things what is the right approach or what is the requirement so if if you need to spend a good time on the job description right so when you are searching any job you just do the job hunting as jobs like you need to spend good times for the job hunting so every job description there is some requirement you can't make a one standard cv and same cv will be useful for everything as per the job description you have to change your cv uh, whatever the project scenarios you have configured accordingly your cv need to be designed so every job is not suitable for everyone so if you are looking here that i should be more focused on the controlling so in your cv product costing marginal analysis material ledger these things should be there if you are more focused on the finance then you should be good in the asset accounting you should be good in the all the uh, like your uh, bank your uh, parallel accounting parallel valuations so all these things should be there right so uh, because every job description is some requirement they have and accordingly they are going to sort the candidate so if there is a requirement on product costing and you never work in the product costing or you never practice product costing you don't know anything about the product costing maybe that job is not for you so so obviously if you'll go for that one then you will be rejected so that is why as per the job description prepare uh, prepare yourself and go for interview accordingly so jobs are there absolutely jobs are there there is in, in, even now market is open so no more like jobs so more openings are also coming lot of projects which was there uh, in pipeline now it is open so maybe in future in next month onwards the, like more hiring will be there what i can see here so i hope uh, these points is going to help you when you are preparing for your interview so if anything i missed or anything you want to add feel free to add in the comments so we will address in our next discussion thank you